$200, I believe, in seven trips. Let's confirm that. That's right, my friends. And don't forget the $20 cash tip I already got. Now, I've taken a little break. I've been working my butt off since 5 in the morning. It's 2.30. So that's at least seven, eight, nine hours of work, right? I want to get to $300 today. And I've done seven trips. That means there's possibly three or four more I have the energy for. Let's turn the app on and see what's going on in the background. I have actually turned UberX off. I will show you over here. Connect and Comfort are on, but if you look right here, Deliveries, Pet, and UberX off. Remember, the first ride is always garbage. UberX is off, right? UberShare is off. It's too busy. It doesn't make any sense. Now I'm going to go out here, show you where I'm at. I'm basically in West Hollywood, a little bit below West Hollywood. I'm close to the Beverly Hills sign and I'm close to the Brea Tar Pits. Okay, these are three cool locations because there's a lot of tourism here. The first thing I'm gonna do is before I start driving, I'm gonna look at LAX and see what's going on. That's nasty, man, 200, 200 people, what else? Another 100 for comfort, that's 300 people. Uber X is full or XL, that means it's 400 people. Not a good idea to be at LAX, but if you look at the map underneath, it is slowly ramping up, right? So I think it's a good idea to be at LAX around 4 o'clock. And if I start heading that way, that might be kind of cool because it's 2.30. Now, let's study the map together. Uh, Burbank is always full, right? There it is. 91, it's full, 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 full. Uber XL is showing 16 out of 20. I'm not going to go that way. Now, let's check Long Beach Airport. Long Beach is basically showing 51. Uber X is full, Uber Comfort is six, oh, 16 out of 20, that's interesting. Uber X is 6 out of 10. I think Long Beach is worth going to, and maybe I can get there by 5 o'clock. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set our destination to Long Beach Airport, and I've been getting very lucky at Long Beach, right? Let's see how far away it is for us. Woo-wee! Remember, ignore these little little breadcrumbs. It's not worth it. Okay, it is showing. It is around 70 minutes away, which is about an hour. There's a lot of accidents going on. But you know what? I don't even want to go that way. I think it's smarter to go to Long Beach. Uh, going, oops, sorry. Going this way. Because there's a potential to get people over here, right? So, I think I'm going to head towards Long Beach, but before I get to Long Beach, I think I'm going to go towards downtown Los Angeles. Let me turn this off. We're going to turn the app off. We're going to turn the app back on. Okay, let's find a location to go to. I'm looking at this live, right? So, I have no idea where I'm going to end up right now. But I'm actually trying to see if there's any four stars, any surge, any hint that gives me a clue which way I should go. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I think I'm going to go towards Pasadena. I'm just taking a wild guess. Let's see how far it is to get to South Pasadena. Okay, that's not bad, guys. 12 miles, about 40 minutes. And I'm going to basically go through a bunch of important stuff right here, right? Um, going this way will allow me to see if there's any potential rides over here. Uh-oh. $9. Ooh, so tempting. Five miles, $9. They'll put me in Los Angeles. Come on, Uber, keep going up. Right now, I've been just sitting here. You've shown me three rides, $6, $6, and $9. No. I think I'm going to go towards South Pasadena, and my goal is to maybe be around here and get lucky. I, I saw a lot of people there. The other option is I can also go towards Beverly Hills sign. Where is it? You know what, let's see Santa Monica, hold on. I think Santa Monica would be nice to go to. Oh yeah, you know what, we're gonna go Santa Monica. I changed my mind. I am going to go towards Santa Monica. There you go. 25 minutes away, 9 miles away. I think we're going to hit Santa Monica. And plus, going towards Santa Monica, there's a chance I might get somebody over here. 
and there's a chance I might get somebody before I get to Santa Monica, right? And I don't have to go the way Uber is telling me. I can go to Santa Monica my own way. Like for example, I can just take the Beverly Hills sign right here and test that, test Westwood, test Brentwood and go that way. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let me see. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do my friends. We're gonna go towards Santa Monica. I thought about going towards Long Beach, but it's too much traffic. I thought about going towards South Pasadena. I don't think that's gonna work. Hey, there's another $6 ride. That's the fourth uh, um, BS ride that they've given. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on in the background. It's actually been a very profitable day. Now you know my strategy, how I decide which way to go. Um, I'm gonna go towards Santa Monica. We're at $200. Let me show you the weekly summary. We're at $1,210 in 39 trips. Basically, by Friday, I like to be at $1,000. I'm already over $1,000, right? You add the cash tips, we might already be close to $1,250. Let's take a look at Friday. So today, I've been active for five hours, online for about eight hours, right? This is really good. That means I've only had three hours of slow time, and that was two hours in the morning, right? And I'll show you that in a second. Seven trips plus the cash, $220, that's awesome. That's good money, my friends. Let's look at the detailed activity. I'll start from the bottom. I'm gonna hide my face for a second. Okay, we're gonna start from the bottom over here. You wanna pay attention. Six o'clock in the morning, I got my first passenger. $34 for 35 minutes, I ended up at LAX. Okay, now we're looking at the second passenger. This is interesting. Basically from six in the morning to nine, it took me an hour to drop the first passenger. Then basically for two hours, I got nothing. And I ended up relocating, I left LAX, I went to Long Beach, and I got somebody for around, I think $46, with the tip, I ended up, as you can see over here, $59. Plus, the same lady gave me a $20 cash tip. I remember her, she was an Irish lady, 80 years old. So that's $80 on one passenger, that is awesome. If you look down here, it ended up putting me in Santa Monica. Then it got busy, my friends. Look, from Santa Monica, I picked up an idiot, right? This guy was calling me and texting me why my car's not moving. I'm like, bro, I'm a YouTuber. I'm working on my YouTube channel, relax, right? Don't give me a hard time. I got $10, sorry, I got $20, and by 10 o'clock, I was at LAX, then I got rematched for $23. Right away, I got rematched. I didn't even have to go into the queue, and I made $23. This guy was a videographer that works in the music industry. That ended up putting me in downtown LA, and then from downtown LA, I picked up somebody, again, really fast, $21, right? If I remember correctly, there was this was a family visiting from um, Guadalajara, Mexico, and it was tough. The dad wanted to talk to me. Oh my God, what are you doing to me, Uber? No, you know my drill, Uber, at least $15, $20. Come on, respect. Okay, the family of three and, and two women in the car. Like, you, look, you know when Uber starts going crazy like this? That means there's a big ride coming right now. All right, anyways, I took that family to Beverly Hills near Cheesecake Factory, great conversation, it drained me a little bit. Then I picked up somebody for $16, this guy wanted to go get a haircut. Picked him up near Beverly Hills, dropped him off in Sherman Oaks. Whew. Then from Sherman Oaks, which is basically going over the hill, I ended up picking up somebody at 107 and brought, them, brought that family back to near Brea Tar Pits or LACMA Museum, right? And I got here around two o'clock and last 30 minutes, I've been taking a break. And that's basically how I've made $220 today, my friends. Let me compromise this or make it compact so you can take a look at it. So the key thing to note here is, look, in the morning, I got a good ride. Then before I got here, there was two hours of dead time and me relocating and figuring out what's going on. Then from here, all the way to right, right around now, it's 238, right? It was nothing but hustling, driving, hustling, driving, hustling, driving. My name is Ahmed Mustafa Ahad. If you found some value in this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, ask me a question, and share this video with other Uber drivers, right?
My focus is very simple. I grow my channel, I create videos early in the morning, I create videos in the afternoon, and maybe if I'm not too tired, I'll create another video at the end of the night and let you know. The sole purpose is very simple. What is my strategy? What is my plan? What is my positioning? How do how am I being patient, right? And how do I end up making money and cherry picking? And if I can do it, you can do it. It doesn't matter if you're in Miami. It doesn't matter if you're in Austin. It doesn't matter if you're in San Francisco. The same rules apply. If I can do it in California, you can do it in your market. If not, ask me questions so I can help you understand your market. And then if I can't help you, at least it'll help other drivers in California, right? God bless you. Have a beautiful day and go make that money.